Hi, my name is Jimmy and welcome to Lock Lab. Today I'm going to be modifying this Kids Ride On toy motorcycle. We're going to be changing the tires from plastic to rubber, as well as adding an electronic speed controller. So first, we're going to remove the front axle. Mm -hmm. Yay! We got the tire off. This axle is much narrower than the hole. So what we're going to need is half inch PEX tubing and three fourths inch PEX tubing. This three fourths PEX tubing fits around the half inch. And this will act as a spacer, like that. And I'll put this one on this side. Like this. And now they're just right. There we go. And now we put one more. Screw, washer. You want to put another washer on this side? Yes. Okay. Yes. Put one on this uh, other side. And then the nut, okay, on top of that. It's nice and centered, huh? Okay, next we're going to remove the rear tires. So I removed the rear wheel, and here's the adapter to... Yeah. So the next step is to replace the bolts that come with the tire, which are short, with ones that are much longer. Here's the adapter. I had to notch out these slots to make it so you can fit fit it over the bolts. See like this. So the tire attached to this plastic adapter looks like this. Next I cut a little another segment of half inch PEX. Insert it in here. Here. Next we're going to integrate the electronic speed controller into this pedal. Now, normally when you push the pedal it goes full throttle. This is a problem because with grippy tires because having a very jerky ride so it's really unpleasant. So with the electronic speed controller you can um, push down the pedal just a little bit, it's gonna go uh, slow, just like a real um, car or motorcycle. Here's how I'm going to incorporate the electronic speed controller. Let's start with the schematic of the normal motorcycle. So we have a battery here, a foot pedal switch, and a direction switch, which goes forward and backwards. The next step is to incorporate this motor controller. As you can see, there's a potentiometer which can control the speed. This just sets a reference voltage to the speed controller, which sets the pulse width modulation to control the voltage going to the motor. Notice that I short the pedal. Step three is that I replace the potentiometer with an optical switch. The reason why I do this is because the potentiometer is awkward to use as a speed controller. I want to incorporate this optical switch into the pedal of the motorcycle. How I'm going to do that is I'm going to cut them in half and then the emitter will vary the distance to the sensor and then this will act as a potentiometer. So I'm going to cut these two wires from it used to be the pedal, and then when these two touch, it would make the bike go. So we're gonna cut these and short them together. Can you plug this one into this terminal here? Right here. Right into this one here. Yeah. Yep. All right, now we can plug this in and test out the pulse width modulation module. So
almost there. Almost to the sidewalk. <laughs> there you go. Oh, wow. yeah. You got it. <laughs>